Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching Furutex. So I tried to install the Pacman edition Oxygen OS version few days back but because of some issue I doesn't got any of the Pacman edition software feature in this ROM. So I didn't create that video but instead of that today I will give you the new custom ROM called as AOSP extended. And it has some of the most customizable unique features that I never seen in any Android 12 custom ROM for OnePlus Nord 2. So without wasting any time, let's get started for the installation and review. On the new adventure. As you can see, I am using the Android 11 base Oxynos ROM. Now you need to download the two files. One is the AEX ROM zip file and the another one is GF file. As the ROM didn't come with the GFs inbuilt. Now first remove all the pins and the password in the security setting of the phone. Now connect phone to the PC and boot your device into the recovery mode. By using the cmd command on your PC, adb reboot recovery. Once phone booted to the recovery, tap install and flash the AX ROM zip file. If you can't able to access the internal storage because if you are on the old custom ROMs like the lineage OS 19 or something else, then you need to use the OTG cable. Once flashing gets complete, now again tap install and select the flame gfs package file. Now after flashing gets complete tap wipe and select the format data. If you get some error like on the screen then tap reboot and select the recovery. Phone will boot back to the recovery again. Now try to format the data it should work now. Now tap reboot to the system. So finally we can see the gorgeous boot animation of AOSP extended rom and it's looking very beautiful. We have to first set up the device, once it get completed, we will jump to the about phone section. So you can see the beautiful AX logo on the top of the setting. So we are upgraded to the Android 12 ROM and it's having the beautiful material you clock easter egg. So this is the beautiful AOSP extended ROM version 9.0. From the last few days, devs are on the vacation so no ROM is updated till the date. That's why we get zero old security patch of FIP 2022. This is the latest build of 28 Feb 2022. Kernel version is 4.14.186 plus. So basically these details are similar to the last Pixel Experience ROM. ROM comes with the two different apps inbuilt in the app drawer. One is the X wallpapers and the another is DuckDuckGo browser. I will show you the different wallpapers in the latter part of the video. I have applied most of the X wallpaper and they are looking really gorgeous. Now we will do the safety net check using the snack application. It is passing the safety net check test. So you can use any of the security related apps without the issue. But do not install the magics or anything otherwise it will break the safety net. Now we will do the performance test. First I will keep the device on the 9 days before the test. ROM is really smooth but sometimes you may feel the animation jitter. To solve this reduce the transition and the windows animation scale to 0.5x in the developer setting. After checking the Geekbench test, I got the really good results for the single core it is 829 and for the multi core I got the 2405. These results are pretty good but not better than the Pixel S friends ROM. There we got the about 2500 for the multi core test. Now we will do the void one check. So here I got the L1 security means we can enjoy the Netflix at the full HD resolution. Google Photos comes with the unlimited photo backup like the Pixel devices. Now we will do the sensor test to check whether all the sensors are working or not. All the sensors are working except the light sensor and the barometer. Actually I tested the auto brightness. It's working with the some minor bugs but still the light sensor didn't give any data. And regarding the barometer, our device didn't have barometer sensor except these all sensors are working perfectly. Now we will check what's working and the bugs. Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi hotspots are working. I tested it with the 5Hz Wi-Fi networks. It's connecting without any issue. OLT networks with the dual SIMs are working. As I am using the Geo OLT, I got the stable OLT support in the ROM. And the incoming outgoing calls both are working flawless. I also tested the Bluetooth connection with my Oppo Echno M31 earphones. I got all the HD audio codecs working like the LDAC, SBC and the ACC. Sound in a Bluetooth earphones is really good. Auto rotation is also working perfectly. Sound in a speakers is also good. But I feel somewhat low as compared to the stock Oxynos ROM. Here is a sample. Hey 
NFC is not working in the ROM. As I check the NFC setting, it's showing no support. Location is working good and it's very accurate. But at the first time detection, it will take some time, nearly one or the half minute. So here comes the auto brightness. As the sensor test shown, no data for the light sensor, but the ROM works with the auto brightness. But it seems buggy like other custom ROMs, means it's not able to accurately read the light sensor data and adjust in the brightness according to it. ROM is non-encrypted to avoid the storage access issue in the TWRP, so you can access the storage in a TWRP to flash the files. Fingerprint sensor is working good. It's accurate and very fast as compared to the stock FP sensor, but we did not get the face unlock in the ROM. ROM comes with the Google Camera Go. It has the bunch of the features like the portrait, translate, but I didn't find the features like the slow motion and the time lapse in the video. So I recommend you to use the stable Google Cam MGC build, but the photos and the portrait shot using the stock camera are also very good. They are crisp and the clear. Alert slider is also working in the ROM, but it is in the inverted position, means at the top we guess the normal mode, middle we guess the vibration and at the bottom we guess the DND mode. So now we'll see the customizations of the ROM. ROM has the dedicated tab inside the setting, name as the extensions. Inside this all the customizations parts are well arranged like the status bar, QS panel, navigations, lock screen and the system. So I will only show you the major customization part of the ROM here. Inside the QS panel we guess the tile animation setting. It gives the very interesting and the unique look to the ROM. Here we guess the bunch of the animations and their animation interpolar setting. In the lock screen setting we guess the left and the right shortcut keys to quickly access the desired app and it is very useful. In the same tab we guess the tab to disable or enable the ripple effect animation when you unlock the phone. Music visualizer is another add-on to beautify your lock screen giving the amazing animation when you place the music. Inside the customizations we get the unique features like the monet engine. Here we can see the tab for the pure black theme which gives the pure black theme to the device. By using the custom color we can use any theme color instead of the wallpaper based monet colors. Linear lightness is the another setting which increases the visibility of the display in the bright sunlight when you enable this tab. Inside the theming we also case the headline or the body fonts. Setting panel of this tab is really looks unique and gives the different look to the setting. We guess the bunch of the fonts like the Google Sans, Pixel Sans, OnePlus Sans, etc. Instead of this, we also guess the different settings like the icon pack, signal icon styles, Wi-Fi icon styles and the icon shapes. All of these settings has a bunch of the different styles to choose between. And we can see the change on the go without restart of the system UI. I especially prefer the hexagon style icon pack, which remember me the days of the Cyanogen mod. Here comes the most like customization part by me, fingerprint icon and the animation. Similarly like the icon setting, here we guess the number of the different fingerprint icons and their animation setting. I can say they are giving the amazing and the eye catching look when you unlock the screen using the fingerprint. Here take a look of some amazing animations. Inside the gender tweaks we get the charging animation tab so we can enable or disable it. But actually I prefer to keep this on because it's given the amazing pixel animation when you connect the charger. Instead of this, we get the dedicated tab OnePlus setting inside the main system setting and the app inside the app drawer. By using that, we can change the different aspects of the device. Like we can set the smart charging limits to avoid the overcharging of the device and indirectly lengthen the battery of the phone. Double tap to wake and the gaming mode is available. But the gaming mode is not so advanced as we last time seen in the Pixel Experience ROM. It's a simple increase in the performance of the device and its refresh rate. So it helps you to lack free gaming experience. Vibration strength is the tab to set the vibration to the low, medium and the high level. Now it comes the battery. I didn't test the battery because I just installed the ROM yesterday and I will do the full test. But as per the other custom ROM, it may reach 5 to 6 hours of SOT and the full day of battery. But I will report back in the comment section with the results soon. We guess the dedicated battery temperature tab inside the battery section. 
So this is all about the AOSP extended for the OnePlus Nord 2. ROM is smooth, all the major things are working. Performance is the best, it gets the unique customization features that you never seen before. Battery needs to be tested but it seems ok. So my final recommendation is to flash this ROM. But before going forward, please keep the Android and full data backup so you can revert back at any stage. Video how to revert back is given in a right side card. So that's it guys all about this video. If I help you please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.